Justice usually takes months to arrive in court, but not here at Akimbo. Here's justice that got delivered instantly. Never make fun of a nervous kid when you're a nervous adult. I am jump. I can't always live together and I'm in the same house as this is why you should never take a water pistol to a water cannon fight. When neighborhood disputes turn nasty and wet. Oh my god. <laughs> People kept dumping trash on this guy's property, so he decided to get some poetic revenge by turning their headlights into trash. I don't carry my phone anywhere. A little lucky day for you, then. But let's check the Instagram DMs. If you're gonna try to delete suspicious messages on your Instagram, it's probably best not to do it on camera. Right, let's get it, let's get it. <laughs> they start shooting your Instagram, start stealing your shit, man, you know? Yeah, you got smoked by some credit. You got some hustlers here. Why you delete that one? I didn't. You're not getting your drink. Go. This guy tried to get into a driver's face, but then a metal pole got into his. <laughs> this package thief was caught red handed. Yeah, that's done. You're done. And ended up red faced when his getaway car got stuck in the snow. You're done. Coming. Here's a tip from Akimbo. Horses won't stop galloping just because you want to look cool. Oh, man. Wow, this dude's got a gun and money and, oh, some kind of prison sentence? The whole package. Unless those are very expensive donuts, they're definitely not worth as much as a camera. <laughs> big car doesn't necessarily equal big person. The same is true when it comes to small cars. I can't go around, bro. Right. I'll get my car. I'm just saying, I'll get my car. Get out the way! Get out the way! Keep playing with me, bro. Keep playing with me, bro. Never mess with a statue. Even statues need their personal space. Sometimes mannequins get bored at work, but this lady also had no intention of remaining motionless. Oh sh You remember when some people got really angry about wearing masks during COVID? Well, this guy may have just been the angriest. What is happening? She's pulling out a walker. Straight up acting. This woman went to ridiculous lengths to take a handicap spot, so these guys decided to expose her in the most annoying way possible. She's walking real fast now. I guess she just got it off Google or the Amazon or something, cause... Kids, if you want to be rebellious, then it's always best to make sure you can run faster than an average middle-aged man. You know, unlike these kids. This is the bird world's equivalent of a burglar alarm. Bullshit! If you're gonna get drunk and interrupt a TV interview, then don't do it to someone who can arrest you. This was about to turn into a violent example of road rage, but then the universe decided to say nope. The problem with annoying people on trains is there's a door on them. Bye-bye! These guys are so rebellious and nothing could make them look less cool. Uh, apart from those security bollards. You have to ask yourself the question, how did she think this was going to turn out? If 
If you steal someone's parking space, then you'd better hope it's not this guy's. As a wise man once said, never laugh at the misfortune of others because you'll probably end up looking like a dick. Amazon, smashing your valuable purchases since 1994. Just to confirm, this was a fake electrocution. But that red wine stain on a white top is all too real. This woman refused to shut off her phone during takeoff, forcing these cops to deboard an entire plane and making her incredibly unpopular in the process. We don't have time to get off the plane! You should never laugh at someone's pain. But in this case, we'll make an exception. When you're about to engage in full-on road rage, but have to stop due to the other person being too considerate. If you park your car in front of these guys, then you might eventually find it even harder to move than they did. When white nationalists try to play the morality card, this is what happens. Mr. Sewell, do you believe you've dodged a bullet in there? I know that's your title that you've already practiced writing up, so it doesn't take any practice, but yeah. it looks like it takes a bit of practice to punch someone in the head several times. Yeah, that's a bit cheeky. You can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. And it's also an original way to tell a driver you're upset with them. <laughs> More eggs. Yes, the fire service doesn't just put out fires. If you park in front of a hydrant, they'll also put out your windows. If you've just managed to fish your phone out of a pit of feces, then there's only one way to celebrate. <laughs> by throwing it into a pit of feces. Here's how to go from looking cool to moronic in a split second. He escaped with no injuries, except for his self-respect. Here's a method that's more effective than any speed limit sign. When this woman found her stolen bicycle advertised for sale, she alerted the police and then made an appointment to view it. Justice wasn't far behind. Here's a tip, don't mess with dogs. The universe usually likes them more than you. People usually get quite angry at being clamped, so you don't really want to break down next to them once you've done it. I broke down. <laughs> Guess who's gonna have an argument today? Is this something to do with parking regulations or just the most well-equipped car thief ever? This guy is clearly not a big fan of water slides, although he is a big fan of revenge. If you pollute Mother Nature with your trash, then Mother Nature will kick your ass. When you see your chance to enjoy a walk-in KFC meal, but Karma has other ideas. Oh, are you okay, Lou? Oh, that was Karma. D R A A T. There's a fine line between confidence and arrogance, and this kid's confidence didn't pay off. Another one in the next round to be the champion. A-Y-A-C-O. I wonder if he can spell karma. The other speller does it. You still have to get it right in the next round. He had his first chance to win. It didn't happen. Kid stole all this guy's candy. He tracked him down like a Halloween Liam Neeson and made them put it back. If you get violent with nature, then nature might get violent with you. 
a study into black holes. Um, no, I'm not interested in no. that. Sorry. Do you know Pythagoras' theorem to the nearest five no. decimal places? Do you? What's your favourite colour? Do you? Colour. Do you know um, the, the Pythagoras' theorem to the nearest actually, five yeah. decimal places? 3.147 is certainly the first four digits. So, <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, no, pie! That's pie! Pythagoras' theorem! When signs fight back. <laughs> <laughs> when you do the burning rubber section of your motorcycle driving lessons, you always learn to look left and right first, just in case three aggressive cops are nearby. Ah, the old idiot walks on windscreen and gets annoyed when windscreen cracks problem. People use handicapped parking for all kinds of reasons. Not usually because they are able-bodied people who want to get their hair done. She told me her ankles are really bad and needs it. But there might be other people that are even worse than you that might need this, this spot. I know. I feel really, really bad. I do. And speaking of karma looking out for dogs, watch how it dealt with this bit of potential animal cruelty. When you decide to entertain yourself in the plane toilet, but then the universe decides to entertain itself by trapping you in the plane toilet. Never mess with a motorcyclist, unless you want to get yourself a new gas cap. If cars stop pedestrians from crossing on a pedestrian crossing, then pedestrians can stop cars from driving. That's justice, right? This elderly man started causing destruction because he didn't want this truck anywhere near his lawn. What he didn't expect was to become a permanent fixture in that location himself. Never mess with Squidward. He has guardian angels everywhere. When you're so busy celebrating your victory that somebody else decided to steal it from you when you're not looking. Isn't it funny when dogs slip on ice? <laughs> Luckily, human beings would never do anything like that. If you abuse an animal, then you deserve to have your genitals ripped apart. Oh, he's done it himself. This is a pretty unfair way to get the best parking space, and it looks like they'll be parking there for a long, long time. Touch my ass? Well, I'm gonna kick yours. The benefit of attacking people on a bike is that you can make a quick getaway. There are downsides too. This is the ingenious way justice was served to a guy who parked in a disabled spot in Brazil. Why this woman decided to knock down all these scooters is anyone's guess. Why she chose to do it in front of a police car is even more of a mystery. We've all seen the litter getting thrown back through a driver's window videos, right? Well, here's one with a difference. <laughs> After years of persecution, birds are now messing with cats. I said, you need to change your menu. We're not sure what this woman's name is, but there's a 90% chance it's Karen. And I want to see your manager or whoever's in charge, and I want the number of your corporate office, and I want that young lady's name. Um, You're being recorded. You're not supposed to be recorded. What's her name? When the universe pays back arrogance with humiliation. Bad luck always comes in threes and sometimes for the person dishing it out. If you're gonna litter, then it's best not to do it in front of a nature-loving guy who looks like he could kill you. It's 
hard to know why they ever expected a positive outcome from this. Oh, where's the wheel? Where's, where's the, the wheel? Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> this car was in such a rush, it clearly had somewhere important to be. The scrapyard. When cars die, most of us just buy another one. This guy, however, decided to give his car a Viking funeral. The people on this boat wouldn't turn their music down, so these two jet skiers decided to do what jet skiers do best. when you can't quite manage the long and treacherous journey to the dumpster. If you're a cyclist, it's best not to mess around with buses. Well, not if you want your wheels to remain round. Here's a guy who enjoys breaking people's wing mirrors. So let's all enjoy the moment when he breaks his face. <laughs> When this woman tried to con a jeweler by switching a package of precious gems for a bunch of fakes, he immediately realized what she was doing. Luckily, this meeting took place in a vault. And the thing about vaults is, you can lock them. He shuts the glass door, then slams shut the giant steel door, locking her inside the vault. Wow, don't you love whenever big SUVs get stuck? <laughs> After mocking another car accident, we can't help but feeling a little happy that this guy ended up in one himself. And he was fine, so we're allowed to say that. Oh, my. so much for nothing. Here's someone being caught on camera stealing and being an idiot. A couple of guys were wetting a stranger. <laughs> and then wetting themselves. What do you make me do now? There are so many videos about road rage. Here's one about road justice. A unique example of how to deal with petty crime. This woman stole from her shop, so she decided to follow her home and live stream it. You look at me like I'm crazy and you stole from me. The irony. When you think you've avoided a parking ticket, but it's just a parking ticket that's good at camouflage. <laughs> The owner of this store was the victim of a thieving spree, so he waited until the next time the thieves arrived and locked them in. This is like watching Super Mario Brothers. If Mario and Luigi were both really stupid. <laughs> Pro tip, cobras aren't afraid of guns. There are only two sure things in life, death and taxes. Oh, and teenage boys doing stupid things to impress teenage girls. Here's a man who's almost as good as lying as he is at stealing packages. Hey, I, just, I was just coming. I'm with UPS. Uh, I'm with UPS. I was gonna go between two neighbors. Swear to God. Look it up. In other words, not at all. If a sheep has been bullying you, then try having a swimming pool installed. They hate that. When police were alerted to a robbery inside this Costco, they started by arresting the getaway driver. And then all they had to do was wait. Hey, buddy. Wow, that worked out great. Yeah. Who too? Hey, what's this traffic cone doing in my way? Oh. If you try to eat revolving meat, then you'll be slapped with metal tongs. We all know that. Even traffic lights stand up to bullies. Maybe you don't care about the safety of other road users, but karma does. Oh, and the police. You can't park this, huh? Just having a quick illegal drink when every police officer in the world shows up. If there's one thing liable to ruin a pleasant day's skateboarding, it's a dog with a vendetta. As Jesus once said, don't froth up another man's beer, or yours might get frothed up too. Well, we think he said that. How to lose your surfboards and your dignity. 
When the driver of the Bentley decided to just leave his trash for others to clean up, Karma decided to send him a message via this biker. If you try to destroy God's creations, then God will destroy your suspension. There's no better example of instant karma than when the pranker becomes the prank E. <laughs> Even motorcycles know that plant theft is wrong. Ah, there's nothing like that feeling when you know you're gonna win. And then you don't. <laughs> <laughs> when this guy's ex cheated on him, he decided to take back some of the things he paid for, including her floor. If you get into a fist fight with someone who doesn't have any fists, then remember they might be very skilled with their mouth. How to stop someone sitting on your car in the most invasive way possible. <laughs> Here's that old walking into a glass door routine, followed by a slightly alternative version from his friend. Karma doesn't get more instant than this. Stealing a vehicle in front of the police station, this is not a criminal mastermind. If there's one thing guaranteed to make a big man turn into a little boy, it's a wet iPhone. A perfect example of cause and effect. When this woman decided to call the police to deal with her neighbor's non-existent crimes, she decided to commit one of her own by breaking and entering private property. I just want to show you how they live. I'm not going in there. They should be going in there. Not me. No, no. Why are you taking me? Take them. Take them, not me. Ah, the smart, sophisticated way to uncork a bottle. You should never physically assault another human being, especially if you're in front of a police station at the time. You're gonna get arrested for assault? Oh, I'm man. not touching him. I got my property, I just want to leave. Assault. I didn't assault. touch him! Barely I secure. didn't Barely touch together. him! Palms together. Why are you guys Palms doing together. this? I didn't touch him! You get the feeling that if these guys worked on every street, there'd be a lot less illegal parking. It's raining on me, okay? And now he knows how those packages felt. Yeah, toll roads can be pretty expensive, but probably not as expensive as 12 new tires. So this is what happens when you try to avoid queuing in traffic like a good citizen should and take a shortcut down the train tracks instead. Now, this isn't the fault of the guy in the car, of course, but let's just say that the bridge tender was fired immediately afterwards. When a truck pulled up to this guy's supercar challenging him to a race, he was good enough to warn him of the cop car behind him. And he didn't believe him. If you cut off enough cars, then one of them might have a siren and blue lights on top. Nobody messes with a cat nap. The pain of being knocked to the ground, followed by the pain of giving the other team a penalty. It's an old story. Man slams gate into neighbor's wall, man almost gets impaled.
when you try to look cool by overtaking someone, but accidentally reveal how stupid your hair is. Get out of here! Here's a tip from Akimbo. If your flight's delayed, then claiming you've got a gun and calling people rapists is not going to solve it. This guy has a novel way of dealing with bike thieves. Cool. So let's just take a look at it. Ooh, the front's uh, coming off. Cool. Let me just try it out. No, it's pretty light. I got bad news for you guys. This bike was stolen out of a garage in Collingwood and I'm taking it back right now. Enjoy! When Karma drives a police car, When instant karma decides to strike, age is irrelevant. <laughs> Who's this girl? And why isn't she a professional footballer? This guy can't quite reach that light. Thank God for the long arms of the law. Never park in front of a fire hydrant. Not unless you're really sick of having windows in the back of your car. If you're gonna burst an underground pipe, then make sure you don't park your car in a nearby underground parking lot. This guy is trying to destroy his neighbor's musical doorbell, but the problem with attacking part of a door is that the other doors might stick up for them. All right, let's see what you got. I'll follow it. When you desperately want your dad to miss his shot and then get exactly what you wanted. I hope you miss it, old man. I hope you miss it. I hope you miss it, old man. I hope you miss it. Beating a baby at basketball is as easy as falling off a log. <laughs> or even their toys. That moment when you go to punch a nice soft human, but a table gets in the way. <laughs> this woman received a ring doorbell notification and saw the boldest burglar ever doing this in her driveway. Get away from my car right now. All the police. This guy was clearly in a rush. To meet the police. When you're in search of food, but are foiled by your greatest fear. <laughs> this high jumper clearly did something wrong in another life. When you try to run out of the store without paying for your repaired cell phone, Karma has a little surprise waiting for you. Four o'clock. When this snowboarder decided to get in everyone's way, Karma decided to put something in his. When two kinds of trash fall over. Oh, how about that? Even Disney characters have boundaries. Ow! If you're gonna start a snowball fight, then don't do it with two guys who have unlimited amounts of the melted version. Ah, you fucking little bastards! This bus is not just a convenient spot for pedestrians to tie their shoelaces, as this kid found out. When a shortcut turns into a deep cut. This guy chose not to stop for a school bus, and the police chose not to let him get away with it. Ever wanted to demonstrate how karma works to your child? Well, here's how. Some animals like being kinky, and some don't. Here's a tip. Waiters prefer tips to you tipping their trays over. Can I have something to eat? Why would I give you something from my shopping cart? In this social experiment, we get to see that there are two types of humans. And in this case, the good one gets a reward. Don't Tell me. give him anything, then more people will come here He's asking. hungry. I can give him some so chips. What? Will, will you give me this to eat? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? Here you go. Thank you for being so nice. Okay. You didn't say that. You said you were broken. Look at all the money you have. Well, we'll give you something now. No, it's too you late. Want a banana? 
No. Here's a porch pirate who's about to wish he'd taken the easier option instead of just walking the plank. Never play the water bowl prank if your friend has the reflexes of Spider-Man. <laughs> if you're gonna park on the sidewalk, then don't be surprised when pedestrians walk all over you. You're on the sidewalk, blocking the Why sidewalk. This guy decided to use Mother Nature as a trash can, and she decided to take his shoe as revenge. Fair enough, this guy's going hands-free to talk on the phone, but he was still distracted enough to rip his soft top to pieces with his own garage door. Are you okay? Oh, I just up my heart, my soft top. What? It's stolen. My wallet, I had to replace all my IDs, my earpiece, and the calculator. There was no earpiece in the mail. I love it. I love it. <laughs> for the plaintiff for the amount of $500. That's what I think it's worth, madam. This guy's a 21st century Robin Hood. He goes around giving people guns. As Nicolas Cage's character in The Wicker Man would tell you, you should never mess with the bees. This porch pirate clearly wasn't expecting the cops to show up but the way he casually dropped the package suggests that it wasn't the first time. This boat was moored on private property, and that private property was next to a scrapyard. Bad move. Doing donuts is cool, right? Until you hit something, at which point everything you've just done seems stupid. Just so you know, this road partition was invented by the same man who invented dominoes. Mice are easily scared by humans, but sometimes it goes the other way, too. Here's a guy who comes up with a great new idea for fetch, where the human loses the ball in the ocean and has to fetch it themselves. The sweetest dessert in the world isn't any sweeter than someone getting pulled over after they've cut you off. When you break a beloved Christmas decoration, and then end up breaking your spine. Drifting is cool. Even the police think so. That's why they're always so nearby. Always remember, the basketball gods do not like bullies. Here's an example of a beer thief doing the wrong thing in the wrong place at the wrong time. This is why you should never celebrate too much or too soon. Congratulations. Thank you! On the worst dish in this competition so far. Ooh, this is a New Zealand wood pigeon version of saying, get off my lawn. when attempted animal cruelty results in bike abuse. <laughs> Get back from the Queen's Gulf! <laughs> when you've got the money for a supercar, absolutely no ability to drive it. Hey, let's just all jump at once in this crowded elevator, and then share a group panic attack when it breaks. This guy parked over two spaces, but then justice was served by two Jeep drivers. In what form did that justice take? Humiliation. When you flip off the guy you cut up, and then karma flips you off immediately. It's a basic law of the universe that you don't push someone into a pool unless you want to end up in the water yourself. Karma keeps the world in balance, but if you steal something cheap, it may decide to take something more expensive from you. <laughs> yeah, you're just spoiled. This girl is obviously far too cool not to park in a disabled parking spot, 
So these guys decided to make her even cooler by pimping her ride. Well, kind of. Teenage boys are not only experts at saying stupid things, sometimes they end up doing stupid things as well. Some trash cans just refuse to be bullied. It's always fun to see a litter bug get their just desserts, especially when they haven't finished their milkshake. We're gonna assume this girl hasn't stayed in that high chair since she was a baby. Luckily, the fire department were on hand to make her embarrassment complete. Even a human statue has areas that are more sensitive than others. It's nice to see someone who's just flipped the bird flipping over into the dirt. This woman tried to steal someone's package, but ended up signing for a delivery of pain. There are many things you can plant into the soil, but this cop decided to plant drugs right next to a suspect. Now, most of the justice featured in these clips has been served out to humans, but look what happened to this squirrel raiding a bird feeder. Another example of dangerous driving. And another example of the police appearing from nowhere. Uh, how satisfying is that bonk sound? <laughs> Wherever this guy wanted to end up, it wasn't in there. Karma looks after dogs too, but sometimes they take matters into their own paws. <laughs> Sometimes karma is delivered by your own car. Here's someone we can only describe as a Karen trying to cause trouble at a local skate park and then getting schooled by people who clearly don't like Karens. You are scary, lady. This is what your brain looks like on meth. Thank you. And here it is again. That beautiful moment when a dick driver gets caught by the fuzz. Never annoy a guy with a football, especially if he really knows how to use a football. John's oh, man. Karma is weird. Even if you abuse someone with something as specific as an inflatable banana, you still end up getting the same treatment yourself. Here's another case of premature celebration gone wrong. Is this instant karma, or is it just a scene from World's Stupidest Criminals? After not being paid for their work, despite asking five times, these gardeners decided to create their own instant karma and destroy their own hard work. Cats have nine lives, but this guy only had one shirt. <laughs> um, hey, officer? I think it's supposed to look like that. For these two, justice moved as quickly as their vandalized elevator. If you scream at innocent drive through employees, then you might get a face full of screams yourself and a face full of iced coffee. Ah, there's nothing like a nice, cool, completely unexpected swim. Yeah, but... Karma respects a clean kitchen floor, so why don't you? Dude, you're, man, dude, I'm gonna fuck your fucking floor. Ah! Oh, shit. 
you get the feeling that this little brother had a score to settle. But what is wrong with you, bro? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Here's a dog whose bark is definitely worse than his bite. Do you want to see another four-wheeled moron being served a spoonful of justice? Of course you do. When this angry man in a suit decided to grab a kid off his BMX, Karma very quickly flipped him the middle finger. This dog was obviously thinking, I hope you choke. Everything worked out. It's a little-known fact that hardened criminals are terrified of water. When Formula One driver Michael Schumacher tried to take out the guy overtaking him, Karma gave him some swift retribution. Oh, I don't think. Oh, goes Michael Schumacher. That didn't work. That didn't work, Michael. You hit the wrong part of him, my friend. When someone stole this guy's parking space, the Karma might not have been instant, but it only took as long as it takes to attach a tow rope. Well, that's much more effective than clamping, and much more permanent. This woman's iPhone is so embarrassed by her behavior that it tries to drown itself. Never bring water to a bright red soda fight. You're about to see a pickpocket get busted in real time. Watch the guy in the black and white jacket. Patience is a virtue especially when oncoming trucks are involved. This guy's pretend accident is about as convincing as a soccer player trying to get a penalty. Most of us don't need to be told not to get romantic with an octopus, but apparently this woman did. Luckily, she was fine. It's never a good idea to get into a road altercation with an earth mover. He quite literally walked into this one. Just like internet keyboard warriors, this dog is a lot braver when it's not face to face. When you laugh at someone slipping, you pull off a fall that a circus clown would be proud of. Here's Jurgen Klopp celebrating a Liverpool FC goal and injuring himself more than any player on the pitch. Yeah, if you're gonna leave without paying your bill, then maybe don't leave your car keys on the table. Pay your bill! Yeah, y'all left them keys! Y'all shouldn't have walked out! The world's dumbest criminals! If you decide to take your anger out on poor innocent icicles, then they might just do the same on your house. It's generally thought that if you defile a pyramid, then you might end up being cursed. But you might also end up being shouted at and have things thrown at you. No! Hey, no! This is a good example of why you should always look behind you. That's why God invented necks. This is what happens when you push a judo black belt into the pool. when road rage meets middle age. If you refuse to put out your cigarette at a gas station, then you'll receive the same treatment as any other fire hazard. This idiot tried to assault a woman and drive away, but she got to walk away while he was dealing with his pain and embarrassment. Justice has been served. Be careful of playing with wet floor signs. Something ironic might happen. Yeah, I'll just try to scare this poor lonely dog and all his friends. Sometimes karma is even quicker than instant. When you run towards the object of your road rage and your car runs away from you, Such a well-timed and well-thought-out prank. And it couldn't have gone worse. 
and this was still easier than using a toilet on a train. The arrogance and the foolishness of an early celebration. A sad lesson in why you should never flash your money. This woman was so shocked after being sentenced to six months in prison that she had to be dragged from the courtroom. And that was probably because she used to be a judge. You should always wait your turn, or you'll have a crushing disappointment. This woman was so happy to receive her new phone that she immediately trashed the old one. Oops. When man meets machine, things can get really petty. The first thing any of us would do with a new SUV is park it under a waterfall, right? Well, no, and this is why. The most important thing with any proposal is to buy a ring small enough to fall through the cracks of the thing you're standing on. Here's some of those mysteriously appearing police officers again. This is clearly one of those anti-vandal benches powered by karma. Judo instructors say that size makes no difference. But still, don't try to fight a bus. If you spend too much time staring at someone's fake girlfriend, then you might get a much more realistic surprise. He's eating a dog. Oh my god, oh my god. When you're so angry that you immediately score the winning goal for the other side. After this vandal was caught on film, she didn't have a leg to stand on. Once again, we here at Akimbo would always suggest not celebrating too early. Some people seem to attract police officers like a light bulb attracts mods. Oh, it's your bike. Well, I'll just lie here in the street until you decide to cycle away then. <laughs> this truck driver was about to engage in some road rage, but then... One of the most important parts of walking the plank is to have a good, sturdy plank. Hanging out of a bus makes you look cool. Okay, maybe not. To be fair, this guy doesn't seem to say sorry. But just as soon gets served anyway. This prank only works if the victim has a huge ego. Never play a water prank next to a pool. Never try to prank a cat. They've got a secret deal with the underworld. <laughs> you get the feeling that this isn't the first time the fan has been responsible for this kind of thing. You're about to see the best, worst shot in soccer. Pop, 2-0! 90. Minute. Tor Nummer 4 for Alexandra Pop in the 4th EM spiel. Here's what happens when you blatantly ignore signs telling you how high a bridge is. When you drive the wrong way down a street, you don't want to see the police coming the other way. And you really don't want to see an entire procession of police motorcycles. Once again, that beautiful moment when a normal car turns out to be a police car. The official punishment for stealing an ice cream is death by slippery floor. If you decide to prank your mom by honking the horn at her, then try not to do it near a nicely located dog crap. 
The right. anticipation to this terrifying prank is matched only by the stupidity of the outcome. Oh my gosh! Cats have nine lives, and at least three of them were used up during this clip. Here's another example of why you should keep your ego in check until after the finish line. When you throw your clothes at a hockey game and security's right behind you. Mind you, the rest of the crowd seems quite happy. Surprise, surprise, this guy eventually gets stuck in the snow. We're not sure what this guy did to this dog, but whatever it was, it's got its own back. Being a bad sport is sometimes a great thing for the other team. When it comes to water pranks, karma never has a day off. How to go from looking cool to looking wet. Karma was clearly on this guy's side. He didn't even spill his drink. It's like some people actually wait until the police are there to act like idiots. When you celebrate too soon and find yourself having the world's longest handshake. If you're gonna run onto the field, then you better prepare to be part of the game. Luckily, he was okay, or unluckily, depending on whose side you're on. You're about to witness the world's most amusing disappearing act. We've all seen slapstick comedy. That banana skin could have disastrous consequences. Cakes in the face just never go well. Everyone on the internet knows that. You know all those cuddly dogs we've seen so far? Well, this isn't one of them. None of us here at Akimbo are professional criminals, but even we know that the one place you don't want to steal a bike from is a police station. And we're gonna take a wild guess that these guys aren't professional criminals either. Whatever this guy was trying to achieve, we're pretty sure that running into a brick wall wasn't the end game. This slap didn't hurt anywhere near as much as her pride. Look at me, why are you eating my- Eating your mom's ice cream is one of the seven deadly sins. So the god of popsicle really? sticks has to step in. I hope you get a brain freeze. <laughs> Once again, karma hates cruelty to animals, but it's okay with sacrificing a plant. Yeah, when your engine goes on fire, that's probably the time to stop drifting your car. Being pranked when you're trying to prank can be a painful experience. And a wet one. The Kimbo Pro Tip. Sometimes people leave their garbage bags open. One of the many ways to know your prank has failed is if you get urine all over your face. <laughs> this lady doesn't like her dog sitting on the seats, but she does like throwing herself down the stairs. This guy's a rebel without a cause. And without dry socks. when you're such an annoying human being that even fake horses don't like you. Sometimes waves get lonely, but then two surfers come along at once. <laughs> you're probably in the mood for some positive karma by now, so why not perform your good deed for the day by clicking subscribe?